minus zeta omega n times t into c1 what is cos beta beta is what omega d so this one is cos omega d times t plus c2 sin omega d times t here this one is the standard expansion of what sin so we can write this equation as e to the power minus zeta into omega n multiplied by t into sin of omega d into t plus phi the one constant will write as capital x so this constant will take care of what c1 c2 what is capital x called as capital x is called as amplitude and x is called as displacement t this green color represents the envelope of e to the power minus zeta omega n times t this one is called as initial amplitude x0 now it start here come downward and come here is one cycle is completed so this one is called as x1 come downward and come back to the original position is one cycle is completed so this one is x2 x3 this one is called as one cycle and this one is called as t or we called it as td this one is called as this is 1d so this one is 2td this one is 3d it represents the number of cycles completed this one is 4td likewise we have 5td this time is time is a reciprocal of frequency what is frequency frequency is omega upon 2 pi this time we have damp so this one is damp and this one is also equals to what what is the rate of this one is it per second you take reciprocal of this one that is called as td t for time d for damp equals to is it 2 pi divided by omega d but what is omega d itself omega d itself is omega n under root of 1 minus zeta square this is what td is so this one is uh, 2 pi divided by omega d this one is 4 pi divided by omega d this one is 6 pi divided by omega d and multiples of all numbers what about this one is this time at t is equal to 0 x equals to x0 at t is equal to 0 x equal to what x0 so I will use my equation number 1 to solve this. To solve this, what I will get? X, what is X0? Is capital X. What is e to the power 0? 1. T equal to 0. So T is equal to 0. So this power is 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1. And this one is what? Sin of omega D multiplied by T. T is 0. So is it sin 5? So this one is x times sin phi. At t equal to td. T is x equals to x1. So we get x1 equals to. Is it a capital X. E to the power. Minus zeta. Correct. Omega n multiplied by what? Td. Agree? And this one is what? Omega D multiplied by T. And what is T actually? T is this quantity. So I will just write this term here. A sine into bracket. First I will write down Omega D. Then I have to replace T. But my replacement for T is what? TD. And TD is what? 2 pi divided by Omega plus phi is capital X e to the power minus zeta omega n multiplied by td is it sign of 2 pi plus phi multiplied by td multiplied by what sign phi 
we'll call this is equation number one and we call this is equation number two t equals to what 2d two times td matlab hum kahan par hain x2 ke paas hai to kya hamara x jo ho jayega wo x2 ho jayega aur kya hum equation ye equation ko one to wapas aate hain hum equation number 1 pe to humko x2 ki value kya milti hai wo check kar lete hain wapas humko milega capital x e to the power minus zeta omega n लेकिन इस समय क्या टू टाइम्स टी हो जाएगा पैकेट के अंदर क्या हो जाएगा तो ओमेगा डी की वैल्यू जो है अभी टू टाइम्स आ जाएगी मतलब क्या फोर पाए हो जाएगा फोर पाए समझ में आएगा फोर पाए अपॉन ओमेगा डी प्लस फाइव और फोर पाए मतलब कितने राउंड हो गए दो राउंड हो गए मतलब थ्री सिक्सटी प्लस थ्री सिक्सटी तो क्या हम सेम पॉइंट के पास है तो क्या हमारा वापस साइन फाइव आएगा तो हमारा आंसर आ जाएगा कैपिटल एक्स ई टू द पावर माइनस जीटा ओमेगा एन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू टाइम्स टी डी इज इट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई साइन फाइव तो इसके आगे अगर मेरे को एक्स थ्री लिखना है तो यहाँ पर क्या लिखना पड़ेगा थ्री टाइम्स एक्स फोर लिखना है तो क्या लिखना पड़ेगा फोर टाइम्स इज दैट करेक्ट सो कैन आई राइट इन जनरल एक्स एन एक्स एन मतलब एन नोट इज इक्वल्स टू इज इट कैपिटल एक्स ई टू द पावर इज इट माइनस जीटा into omega n is it n times td multiplied by what sign so kya hum previous node likh payenge n minus 1 wali n minus 1 mein kya kar denge isko n minus 1 wala clear hai sabko to aapko ye pata chalega isme ki agar hum koi consecutive amplitudes are 0 divided by x1 sin of what 5 अपॉन और एक्स वन के बदले में आपको डालना पड़ेगा ये टर्म इज इट कैपिटल एक्स ई टू द पावर माइनस जीटा तो क्या मेरा कैपिटल एक्स कैपिटल एक्स कैंसिल हो जाएगा और क्या ये रेशो ई टू द पावर जीटा टाइम्स ओमेगा एन टाइम्स टी डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स टू इज इक्वल्स टू कैपिटल एक्स Is it e to the power minus zeta omega n multiplied by td? Is it multiplied by sine phi divided by capital X? Is it e to the power minus two times zeta omega n td? Is it multiplied by sine phi power zeta into omega n multiplied by td? क्या रेशो बिटवीन टू सक्सेसिव नोट्स इसको क्या बोलेंगे नोट्स इज इट कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इज इट ऑलवेज फिक्स सो राइट द रेशो बिटवीन टू सक्सेसिव नोट दैट इज एक्स जीरो बाय एक्स वन इज सेम एज एक्स वन बाय एक्स टू इज सेम एज एक्स थ्री सॉरी एक्स टू बाय एक्स थ्री इज इट सेम एज डैश 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 सेम एज x n minus 1 upon x n is it same as e to the power zeta into omega n into td now i want to solve this further what is my value of uh, td so td equal to what 2 upon omega d so i will write this as e to the power zeta omega n is it 2 <coughs> Divided by what? Omega d. But what is my omega d? Omega d is omega n under root of one minus zeta square. So I will continue again. Equals to e to the power one omega n. Is it under root of one minus zeta square? In that case, am I able to cancel the value of omega n? Omega n. It means that. For this ratio, omega n has no role, and therefore my final equation becomes e to the power two pi zeta under root of one minus zeta square. Is this fine? I advise you to remember this equation. Time is simply ratio equals to what x zero by x one. I introduce one more term here that is called as delta. 
delta is called as logarithmic decrement Log this logarithmic decrement is defined as ln of x0 by x1 is it also defined then x ln of x1 by x2 also so if you take a natural log of this term then is this value is the power is e and you are taking natural log so is it same as 2 pi z under root of 1 minus theta ln of delta is this so this equation you remember ln of delta equals to 2 pi zeta and what is delta in general xn minus 1 upon xn it valid only for 0 less than zeta less than 1 is, is it correct that is under dam system so that complete your derivation part now again i repeat how are you going to solve equation what are the figure given to you? What are the complex figure may be given to you? You first transfer your figure to one spring, one mass and one damper. Controlling equation is mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx equals to zero. No external force is acting. So this is free vibration. Step number two, you can convert this as x double dot plus c by m into x dot plus k by m into x equals to 0. Now the state is x double dot plus 2 zeta omega n into x dot plus omega n square times x. I am giving you very simple steps. Okay. From this any time you can find out value of zeta and you can find out value of omega n. If you have a value of zeta and omega n, your problem is finished. That's all. That is the success. You must know value of zeta and you must know value of what? Omega n. Is okay? Now he says that find, find the zeta equal to 1. What is zeta equal to 1? Critical damping. So this is called as critical damping. Then C, what is C? Damping coefficient. So it is labeled as CC. CC is labeled as critical damping. Why critical damping? Why critical damping? Because CC equal, zeta equal to what? 1. So zeta equal to 1, CC, C will not be used, CC is used. CC, C stands for critical. So from this equation, can we say 2 omega n, am I correct? 2 omega n, is it C by M? Now this C is, is it CC? And what is omega N? Is it under root of K by M? So this one is 2 is under root of what? K by M. Is it same as CC by M? This is the gate 2017. So what is CC? Is it 2? This M will be here. Is it under root of? K by M. When this M will come inside, is it M square? M square and M cancel. Is the equation of CC is 2 under root of K.